right, Algebra 2. Your last lesson looked at an introduction to rational functions, and now we're going to do some practice problems from that lesson. So I'm going to go through a few examples with you that are on the PDF, and then the rest will be for you to try on your own. So problem one asks what value is not going to be included in the domain, right? Or where are we going to get an answer undefined for this function? Well, we know that we have a problem if our denominator is zero. So we look at the denominator and we see, or we say to ourselves, well, what value for x is going to make this true? And this is true when x equals 7. And so for the answer to your question, right, we're looking for a time when x does not equal positive 7. Any other value will be included in the domain, but when x is 7, we have a big problem and math gets mad at us. And oh, I did not finish writing down the equation over here. For question four, again, we are asked to find the domain of our equation. First, we want to begin by factoring the numerator and the denominator. Because just by looking at this, we're like, well, I don't know. We know that the domain is going to exist anywhere except where the denominator is zero but we gotta find where that is. We recognize maybe that our numerator is the difference of perfect squares. And now we should be pros at factoring. We've done plenty by now. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 14, but add to positive Five. Let me get x plus seven and x minus two. And so our domain will exist everywhere except when x is negative 7 or positive 2 because then we have zeros in our denominator and that is a no can do. And the last one we're going to look at uses some function composition. So we're given two functions f of x and g of x and asked to find out what's going on for f of g of x. And what that means is we're taking our function for g, and whenever we see an x over here, we're writing our function for g instead. So instead of 3x, I write 3 times 4x minus 1, keeping that minus 2. And I do the same thing in my denominator. So I get 2 times 4x minus 1. Okay, and now I distribute my 3. And in the denominator, right, I'm distributing a 2. And maybe you did this as one step, but we want to combine like terms if you haven't already done so. And from here, and we take a step back and hit pause for a moment. We're like, well, there's nothing else I can factor out. I can't really do anything with reciprocals here. So this is as simplified as it's going to be. 
So I went through three problems with you guys. Please try the rest on your own. Again, using that PDF, if you have a printer, go ahead and print it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And let me know if you have any questions on rationals thus far.